If you remember, the existence of Sun, in the interaction with the existence of planet Earth, in interface position of the fields that led to creation of the amino acid, what we call Mr. Cohen, has a great game to play. We have, and we cannot miss this. Because, in the scientific world, in the present time, we talk about amino acid, we talk about life, we talk about creation of this planet, and everything with it is connected to the sky, Mr. Cohen. You got to understand, the four elements of the amino acid, imbalance interaction, when in the composition, become part of the egg and the sperm, which in totality, let's say, Eight of them lead to creation of dynamic processes, which this dynamic process now tries to find a balance. And in trying to find a balance, it creates within the structure, even it looks physically dimensional matter division, but it creates a field rotation. Now, you have a circle and a sphere, rotating a sphere of the energy which is not from the father, nor from the mother, but in totality, a new combination. Where, in essence, for all to be in balance, it needs to create a central balance point which all fields from all have a balanced field connection with a center, what we call the soul of the man. Even though each one of them has his own center of operation. But the beauty of this is very simple. Now, that I have created it, the energy absorbed, I take energy from the environment too. Where this environment is the womb of the mother. That's how I can divide. This is how I can have more. It doesn't come from nowhere. This new soul, this new center, starts absorbing energy from the liquid, from the plasma of the womb of the mother, from the environment, and through strength from the universe. It is absolutely, absolutely crucial for you to understand this. As I said, this picture, if you understand, could be one of the most important pictures of all teachings. It's very simple, but it's very direct. It brings in the totality of 200 teachings, if you understand. Because, now that you understand, you have created the soul of the man, the central energy, that can absorb energy from its environment, that by receiving this energy, it balances back with those who created them, it feeds them, and allows them, 
in so many ways, to divide. The vision of the cells, as we see in the present life, in the videos, that the egg and the sperm come together, and then after a while they divide. How come they divide? Because this central point, what we call the completion of the soul, absorbs energy that becomes the feeder to the physical structure. The umbilical cord and the rest of it comes later, because this has already established it, and with it, it connects itself to physicality of the mother. Then, there is a crucial point in this. This is absolutely important for all of us to understand. And it's my wish, that you all understand, what is about to be said. Because this is what, as a human race, we have been craving for. We've been looking for, and we have killed many things, without understanding this. Listen very carefully, and comprehend, what is about to be taught. Because, if you understand this, you have found the secret to life in the universe. If you miss it, you need to go back and understand what you missed in the whole of the teachings. As I just explained, the creation of the soul in the center, allows the absorption of the fields, from the environment of the womb of the mother, that allows, in receiving more, for each cell to receive enough energy, that they cannot hold on to, and they go through the division. This is how the cell of the man is fed. The umbilical cord is for clearance of the surplus energies, that it needs to be, once the physical part takes over. Before that, the life is independent. That's the point, when the umbilical cord is made, the physicality becomes a leech, on the back of the soul of the man. But, what is crucial to understand, is that, the soul, now is absorbing from the plasma of the womb of the mother and the environment, and in return feeds into what it led to its creation, the cells. And as they don't and cannot divide them themselves, what they have created now becomes the feeder of them. But the crucial point is. If, the soul of the man, from onset, managed to absorb energy from the environment, why can't we do it now? What stops any one of us, to go back to where we started from? Be a free plasma, within the plasma of the womb of the mother, be a free plasma within the womb of the universe. Then, anywhere in the space, you can feed yourself, without the need, to terms of physicality. Then, in this structure, man exists anywhere in the universe. Because now, you decide, as a soul of the man, what to take as a food, as energy, as a way to live, without killing. Without destruction. And this is the whole purpose of these teachings. When the man learns to go back to the origin of his own creation, before the leech of physicality attach himself to it, that man learns, to exist in the depth of the universe, without ever 
looking as another energy source, as a life food, then we become the giver of energy, we become the giver of life, exactly the same way as when the sense soul was created, it start feeding without taking life from them. This is the change of the position of the man. This is the change where we understand, now we become the creators. This is where our soul, when it's freed from our physical condition, in the spans of the universe, becomes the feeder, becomes a star, becomes a new life, in the span of the, what I call, life of the universe. As I said before, we never knew we were all nano called nano makers when we cooked the first meat, when we start using a Chinese wok. Now you understand, in essence within our soul, we have the knowledge and in so many ways goes back into the teaching of past four or five months that I always said, the brain of the man has no connection with the physicality of the man. Because even today, the brain of the man with the soul at its center, is still feeding itself from the environment of the life, and proportions itself with the physicality to accommodate the physicality for its physical life and the physical soul of it. So, now you understand, even today, as you think I'm eating, I need the food to survive, in fact, your brain is getting fed by itself from the energy, plasmatic fields of the plasma of the womb of the Earth, the womb of the solar system, in the womb of the universe. It's for us now to tap into this, to understand this, then we become independent of time, position and strength. Then, we become independent of physicality. Then we decide when and where to manifest ourselves in the terms of our own condition, to create the balanced position with the rest of the entities, souls in the universe. I bless those souls who understand this knowledge, because then you have matured into understanding more. then you comprehend fully that from the point of inception in the womb of the mother, we always knew how to absorb energy from the fields of the universe and became the feeder from what we absorbed for the physicality, for the soul of physicality to take shape. And this is the way you convert yourself in the spans of universe from the, what we call the plasma of the creation to the plasma of physicality. Then man does not need to kill none. This is the knowledge which was given to Moses and he did not deliver. <laughs>